a small block of mass m is kept on the bigger block of mass capital m which is attached to a vertical spring or spring constant k as shown in figure the system oscillates vertically find the resultant force on the smaller block when it is displaced through a distance x above its equilibrium position right so the particle is displaced x above its mean position so i can draw the free body diagram of mass small m at this very moment that is mg is always downward and normal is upward right now if a particle is x above its mean position so the net acceleration i mean the acceleration of the whole system will be downward but the pseudo force will be acting on the small mass because it is not directly attached to the spring so a pseudo force will act on the small block and this pseudo force will be equal to mass into acceleration this acceleration is the same to that of the smaller block which is downward so i can write n plus ma is equal to mg fine i have to calculate the resultant force ma is my resultant force so ma can be written as mg minus mg minus normal force now this acceleration is of course equals to omega square x so the resultant force is equal to mass into omega square x in this i know the time period that is 2 pi under root of small m plus capital m by k so omega square comes out to be k by small m plus capital m so to substitute this value over here i have the resultant force as m k x divided by small m plus capital m that is my answer for the first part fine and uh, in second part i have to calculate the normal force on the smaller block okay so normal force is given by mg minus ma okay so it can be written as mass into g minus omega square x Just substitute the values have g minus omega square is kx by m plus capital m that is the answer for the second part okay and secondly i have to find when is the force smallest in magnitude okay now one thing is very clear that i want the force that is the normal force to be smallest now this will be smallest when the acceleration will be maximum acceleration will be maximum when x will be equal to amplitude so at extreme position that is when the amplitude is maximum normal force will be minimum all right in c part what can be the maximum amplitude with which the two blocks can oscillate together right so i have to calculate the maximum amplitude for which they can be oscillate together so the critical condition is that when normal is zero right at the extreme position so if it happens then this is my critical condition for that i can write mg is equal to ma from this very equation when normal is equal to zero mg is equal to ma that mass gets cancelled so g is equal to acceleration that is omega square of amplitude omega square is given as k by small m plus capital m amplitude is equal to g so amplitude comes out as g times of m plus small m by k that is the answer